try and find two more teams to join us in the playoffs next week. Movistar Riders won't be one of those teams, Chad, but uh, potentially EG. The one expert odds are still favoring the Riders here. Let's see if they have any passion left in the tank. It's a re rebuilding phase for both of these squads in one way or another. We'll get into that a little bit later as Cirque will have the initial jab. Breeze with all this space towards long. So yeah. information garnered, but it looks like they're aware of this little maneuver. Martinez is coming on over with a peek and Goosh immediately. That's a great shot from Breeze. Can he double up here? Doesn't, ooh, I was gonna say, doesn't look like it. The second shot finally lands and that's two kills immediately for Breeze. So they were getting ready outside the B tunnels there waiting to pounce for Breeze to take map control, but unfortunately for him, he did so well. They're taking a bit of a gamble stack towards the B side. No one rotated over. So Breeze now in CT spawn. The bomb will rotate back towards middle, and because he's got such an advantageous angle, Chad, they're actually going to be bringing it all the way around. Oh. Breeze will find his third frag of the round. Mopos finally getting Movistar on the board here, oh, but Breeze, oh. he's on for the ace here, Chad. Just keep going, mate. Just keep looking. Let him off the leash. Why not? And they can bring the bomb back towards B. So around the world in <laughs> 155 <laughs> seconds is the name of this novel. Okay, then. That was uh, as simple as you like, really. Send one player up towards long. He'll kill them all. And job done, to be honest with you. That's the type of strat that Neilan wishes he could call every time. Yeah, they, it was supposed to be a little bit more intricate than that. Ideally, Breeze gets one, pulls a rotation over from B, and then they explode in towards the latter bomb side. But uh, didn't really pan out that way in the best possible way i suppose but uh just more pot remaining now. the issue with this ace for breeze even if he gets it it won't end up in a highlight movie in the same way yeah it wasn't five kills in five seconds it still could be five ah, kills mopos how do you got the ace second. maybe yeah then we could string it together we could cut it nicely a few cinematic little rollovers and mopos will try and make things interesting but ends up going down in the hands of neilan so four kills for breeze one for neilan and some smiles on the faces that victory yesterday for eg breaking the massive drought just yeah. has to be a weight lifted off the shoulders, especially of Breeze and Sir, who have been a part of this ride the entire time. For the other three, I would say not so much, but uh, definitely more for Breeze and Sir. Yeah, decent showing. Got the 2-0. We had some strong performances there from Breeze and Automatic especially. They looked very good. I'd like to see a bit more out of Sir, <laughs> if I'm going to believe they can actually uh, get out of this group. But it's a very, very convincing round there. A comprehensive victory four evil geniuses as we get into the second round. The Force Buy, of course, brought to the table by the Movistar Riders. And a scrutiny towards the bathrooms here as Neelan, very aggressive here. Forward stance as we'll be making his way towards the party. And the bomb, however, goes towards Long. It's up to Martinez to cause some damage here. See if he can find a few tags, but only takes bullets to the chest. Oh, they found the gap through Long again. Breeze leading the charge once more. Neelan can just hold them in place. And while he is, Breeze looks like he's going to get the opening duel again against Martinez. Two rounds in a row. That's a shot. Get overstep there. We'll lose the AK-47, and Alex will gladly pick that one up. So some issues for EG as Breeze has overstepped the mark on his lonesome here. What's the mid-round call from Neil and going to look like? Yeah, it's actually looking a little uncomfortable for them. They're not necessarily together right now. They still have players in T-Spawn. The bombs over towards the playground, as you can see right now. So uh, it looks likely to be a B finish with Neelan just investigating the long position right now, seeing whether he can cause a bit of uh, a ruckus. Here comes the smoke in towards CT spawn, just trying to keep him on that side of the map. And this will be difficult. It's Mopos who's actually pushed off towards short as well, trying to find some information, but uh, gets a lot more than he bargained for. Automatic finds the man advantage now for EG, and they will creep in towards B, but time is of the essence. 20 seconds remaining. Deaths will even things out. Three on three, and uh, here they come with the bomb coming into plan. All right, well, they're going to allow it to go down here, so it's going to be a three on three retake. Deaths has been able to find that Galil. Alex's AK sounds off, and man, his death's going to reach open this door. Swings it open and swings straight into Automatic, who will oblige. Knocks him for six, and Cirque in the meantime did take down Alex. So situation recovered. AK, not so much. Uh, they no. do walk away with two Galil, so they lost Breeze's AK in all of that, which is quite the loss here, but all things considered, it will be just an economical coming forward for the Movistar Riders. Now, I, I would like to... I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. You Otherwise, don't? I could be the man in the in the circle giving the speech to this True, team. that would be nice. Because we saw yesterday looking quite dejected. You saw Blade in that interview talking about how they've been affected. They didn't win any practices when Martinez was first joined. The officials weren't looking That's good. Some highest hit them very, very hard. They didn't qualify for the RMRs. So some big issues here. But the Movistar Riders with this team, right? Obviously, Sapias was it was a big part of that. Was still able to go a deep run in Cologne. They won ESL Challenger in Valencia, right? They, they were a team that was on people's radar. They were playing good Upward counter trajectory. Strike. Precisely. Now, Sampias did leave them high and dry. Kassad and Yanko have uh, 
two separate views on that. Now, we might need to return to that in a second because Davy G has found a kill early on towards Connector here. Yeah, quite a convincing one as well. It will be Breeze to respond. So back to a four and four, and maybe back to what you were saying, Chad. Please go on. Okay, so one of the keys that Yanko brought up was their ranking and the fact that they could use that to get invited to events. Well, an event that they have been invited to is... One is cleared. Okay, and they don't want me to finish my sentence, do they? Apparently not. I thought. We might get a chance. Okay, we, we will get a Done. chance now. One event that they are invited to is ESL Challenger in Rotterdam, which is uh, taking place from October 14th to October 16th. Now, teams who are at that event, as well as the Movistar Riders, are Eternal Fire, who qualified. We saw, see them in this group. We team right. one, uh, Fluxo, which is Phelps' team, and then a, a South African team that has Sonic as a representative and Black Poison, maybe if you know those yep. lads. But Absolutely. there's a bunch of other invited teams too. Mouse, Outsiders, and who Movi should use as their, I don't want to say inspiration. A fuel. As the fuel to the fire to get back to where they need to be. Ents. Yes. So this team right now have to be having a bit of a rebuilding process. They need to bed in Martinez. They need to understand how they want to approach the team with this new roster so they can take on Ents in ESL Rotterdam and they can beat him and they can get revenge on him and show, hey, you made the wrong call. Yeah, that's a very good point, Chad. Uh, they won't be in the RMRs, unfortunately, but yeah, that's uh, a nice way to look at it. And uh, we'll see whether they can at least turn up today. It's not the best start, but the money is low on the T side. You can see how they're operating here in the first gun round. A couple of Galils, Mac Tamba hexed as well. It's not ideal, so a very good chance Mobile Star Riders can find their first CT round here. As we look at the general setup, we have got Cirque with the bomb towards T steps. General play gun control to trying to push CTs back towards their party position and Breeze getting ready, but unfortunately flashed off by his own team. It's not the end of the world though. Martinez. Looking to strike. Didn't have the best showing yesterday, has to be said. Uh, we'll see whether they can bounce back. First time he had a rough go, I think. Exactly. the entire team. Otherwise, he's been uh, one of the yeah. beacons of hope here. Absolutely true. Mopo showed up yesterday, which was the difference maker. Yeah, very good. But uh, yeah, it was the snipers on either side that weren't really operating to great effect, but that's much better. You are going to see Defs with the opening frag. Took a lot of damage on route, but they have got the man advantage. This is a crucial frag. <gasps> How has he not converted that? Nealon with the flick from hell. And this should be an easy kill for Martinez. It takes down the talisman of EG. It's going to be Breeze. And 20 seconds remaining, Save as mentioned. Lads. There's not really much they can do with this now. They've got the AWP in the hands of Cirque, but uh, I dare say Martinez has got his second kill of the round. Lovely Save. work, done Get enough. Out Get out of the flames, and yeah, they'll absolutely be saving the M4, the AWP. Quite a convincing round that for Mobby Star Riders didn't have to work too hard for it. Yeah, precisely. Well, Hex to be able to buy into the next. Fortunate for him. He might even be able to drop something quite light. Nealon and win. Breeze are just above that 3k mark. So uh, it is going to be a buy coming out of EG, but it won't be the best of. Now, this is uh, obviously the T side of Overpass. I've seen teams have some, some big struggles on this previously, but it wasn't too shabby yesterday for the EG lads as they did take down Eternal Fire to get their first victory in some time for ESL Pro League. Now, uh, they started on the T side of their own map choice. They managed nine. Nine rounds. Yeah. Uh, whereas we had covered off Zentara the day before on this very map from Eternal Fire, and he was beast moding on that CT side. So they he did a was. great job to keep him a little bit more quiet. Yeah, he was, uh, what, 25 frags in that first half. It was wild, to say the very least. Wasn't quite enough, unfortunately. We'll see if this is enough for EG, as they are under a lot of pressure here towards Shaw. Good damage from Automatic, but uh, two players there to deal with. He'll be going down early. So that's a nice aggressive maneuver there for Movistar Riders once again. Successful Gambit from the short area of the B bomb site. So what have we got left? A couple of Deagles here. Breeze not really investing into the round either. Still got $2,000, so they opted for the more conservative approach which makes sense. They are the favored team here. They've already got three rounds on their T side. They definitely can win the round with an AWP and an AK-47. But uh, in recovery mode right now. Minute left on the clock. Three of them encroaching on the A bomb side. This is a key frag. So nowhere near the mark there, but Hex much better. Okay, well, one for one, but then one back. Death's onto Neil and it's just two to survive now. Hex would have to Bit of prowess here as Breeze might get caught with back turn. Actually, both of them back turns. Alex makes the play. Breeze with the AWP. We'll be able to find the in-game leader of the Riders. But now it's three more names on that naughty list and not so much time to work this one out. 30 seconds to be precise and uh, might be able to find the first kill for three towards long. But uh, overlooks the mark and it will be deaths to take him down. 3-2. As mentioned, the money not completely broken for EG, but it's certainly not in a good place either might be worth 
Force mining to that previous round, not sure, but uh, for now they'll be having and for Cirque. The other three have some light upgrades, very light. It's Breeze who has the heftiest investment of the Deagle with Kevlar. So I guess we have to stay on board with him, who's been having a, a slight resurgence here. It'd be good if this form is a bit more consistent and, and against top names. If the win yesterday can unlock his confidence as well, that's another key. Like pe People think when you talk about confidence in a, in a video game, oh, they, they just play the game. No. Confidence is going to affect the type of fights you're looking for, the way that you present yourself in the server. If you're not confident, you won't be swinging out looking for jewels like this. Martinez against the pistols in the thick of it between the wickets for the sack, but the USP takes down Nealon. Remember, he only had that poor Glock, so Cirque will eventually find the killer. Maybe a sack of a Cirque here. Yeah. Combat open in the thick of things. All right, a chance here now. A lifeline for EG. Entered with almost nothing, but now got themselves to three on three with a couple of rifles, one of which is the AWP. In the hands of the big man as well, Cirque can be very dangerous with the sniper rifle on his day. Breeze with a hand cannon as well, that Desert Eagle. This is a key frag. Alex comes out on top, makes light work of him. Automatic, he gets the trade. The round is back on, but things starting to look desperate once again. They have no armor on these two remaining players, and that should confirm things. It would take something monstrous now from Cirque, but uh, can't find it. Three in a row for the Movistar Riders, but the money back on track for EG. They've got themselves about $5,000 per player. Cirque with 6K can certainly afford the AWP. And I'm sure he will purchase that. That's the type of situation where Cirque's probably better off throwing the AWP away. And it's obviously not going to affect the next round. I'm sure there was enough money for Martinez to buy an AWP in the next round or get dropped one. But it's more the long game here of this CT side because now they have something that's worth almost 5K in their back pocket for free. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, wanting to go for the win on the round as the last man standing didn't have too many options, all things considered. And we see the squeaky door blown off as part of this standard defaults for the CTs in the current meta. To make sure the Ts don't have as much leg room. Well, once again, smoked out of the short pipe. We have got deaths on the aggressive assault once again. He's done enough for this round, but fancies a little bit more. Nealon more than willing to challenge, and it's a second kill for Movistar Riders. Martinez looking hot to trot today. That's actually another opening. Five versus three. They do not need to be aggressive anymore. Fall back. Enable the crossfires and wait for the clock to be ran down. It's automatically being boosted up. It's a uh, shouldn't find anything. pretty predictable move when you're in this sort of scenario. So they shouldn't be giving anything away, but you never know. Looks like they're overstepping the mark. Maybe a double kill here, Chad. That's a bit of a blunder. Okay. The CTs, it has to be said. Yeah, not even considering it there on that rotation back in. Yeah, they could have given away a double the, kill. Though. The lineup there. So now they'll at least press the issue. Automatically with double flashes towards Monster. Taking the spaces, Neil and still lacking the third prop of this and Cirque, but he might not be needed. Automatic grabs another and towards the pillow. It's one more. Automatic lines him up, knocks him down. Now they're onto the site with the number advantage. It's completely collapsed now. Alex in towards T-Spawn. The timing on the flank, the timing on the flank. He Ooh. hasn't got it in his favor, unfortunately. Decent Molotov to fend off death. The bomb will be planted, no problem here. It's a three on two. A five on three converted in the favor of EG now. They've got kits, but no utility on the CT side. It's a single flashbang. Trying to pince up towards the B bomb side, but Cirque has got Alex's number all day long. Not going to miss that one. And uh, that should be it. And that's a bit of a shocking result there. All they had to do was hold the default position, Chad. Enable the crossfires and be aware of the boost. That yeah, was it. Even, be aware of it. Even the first one that they gave over, it's not the end of the world. It gives you information. You know exactly where two players are because the two players have to be in that boost situation to even make it possible. So the fact that they then give up the two subsequent kills, that is the bigger issue for me. Martinez going down, you can see he got completely caught off guard, wasn't ready for it. Sure, a little bit overlooked, a slight gaff, but uh, Automatic did hit some good shots. So if Absolutely. we want to highlight Tim here. Yeah, he's been looking great, but uh, it's Martinez that just doesn't have a care in the world about this situation. That's a key player as well. Your sniper goes down. It discombobulates the CT defense as well. The flashbang came over and Automatic helps himself towards long and his uh, easy as you like. Takes down the in-game leader, and they reclaim the lead as well. It's going to be 4-3, to three and a very difficult buy for the Spaniards. They've got an MP9, a 5.7, three M4s, bare bones utility as we enter round number eight. EG back on their feet now. Those are the tilt rounds you really want to avoid when the morale on the team is already quite low. Oh, yeah, Those ones low. Uh, amplified in this type of a situation, whereas for EG, as mentioned, I think the weight has been lifted from the shoulders with the victory yesterday. So now they have the ones who seem to have a bit more spring in the step. A boost on the other side. Changing places as automatic. Moves his head down. Might hear this if they're a little bit... Oh, uh, okay. That was in connector. Yeah, Alex was trying to get aggressive there once again. They found reasonable success in that position, to be fair. They're finding those opening kills. This time, though, falls in the favor of EG. 
And uh, they managed to convert a five on three against him in the previous round. I'm sure they'll make light work of this one. Time will tell. This boost has been a little bit clumsy. They're ready for it as well here. Yeah, automatic. Probably not going to miss this one. A flashbang to come over. They'll jump up accordingly. And now in position. There's automatic reader. Apparently not. Nice maneuver. All right. Was expecting a short push to come through. So buying one back. Martinez has just looked away at the wrong time. That is the nightmare fuel right there. Breeze gets an absolute freebie. An absolute freebie that you'll take every day of the week. And Mopos cannot draw it back onto Neil and slippery little toes there. So here comes the Molotov towards the truck position. That's exactly where Defs is residing. Taking considerable damage as well. It's a difficult handle to clear out here from Long especially. So maybe he can get a couple of frags. The smoke actually backs him up tremendously well. A key interaction here. If Mopos can find the kill, who knows? But unfortunately for him, it slips by the wayside. Four on two. Still a slight chance here. Both CTs in position. A good smoke down as well to buy some time. But shooting. it's uh, fading away. The chances of this round, almost nil. Just a 5-7. Very well done from EG. Only gave away one single frag there. That was from the boost to the B-bomb site. Otherwise, very well handled. And that's going to be an eco now for Movistar. Now, here's the thing. This isn't a reflection of me talking about EG. It's just where the Movistar rider is going to find themselves based off of the comments in the interviews, the situation of not qualifying for the RMR, losing some pious, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If here they, they're going to spiral even further, that means they haven't hit rock bottom yet. Right? I would say that they're... They, they can avoid hitting rock bottom. It comes down to them all having like a, a talk as a team and understanding that th this has all happened and it's unfortunate events, but this is the scenario we have now and we need to march forward. But it's really hard to do that, especially while all the games are on. You had high expectations coming out of the break after going so deep in Cologne as we'll be taking a little bit of a round of things over towards the playground. It is just Alex. He we go. That's a re revenge kill into the Hello. back of the head and that's another. So. It's a two-on-one situation yeah. with a scavenged AK. They're already into the site, though. It's hard to let this one go off your EG. Especially with this sort of plan as well. You can both play towards Heaven, CT spawn, and uh, Automatic, he's already thinking about the hunt. So he doesn't want to let this one slip away. The AK-47, that is. It's actually three kills in total for Alex there, Chad. Uh, not bad at all, considering he entered with pretty much nothing. Just a USP, no armor. He's managed to get a Molotov, a smoke, a flashbang, an AK, $3,000 by virtue of the kill rewards. So uh, not too bad if he can hold on to it, and it looks like he probably will. So uh, a pretty messy round for EG, but they'll they hit around victory all day long. Their money's pretty healthy, to be honest with you. They got six on the T side of overpass. Yeah. Be happy with that at this juncture. It's their map pick, looking pretty confident so far. Sure, they lost three rounds in a row, but uh, it does happen. Alex will save the AK and have plenty of money to drop as well. Can probably drop the AWP, to be honest with you. This is how it all started. A mid push. It did actually look pretty decent. Till it wasn't. That one there in a breeze is fine. Low HP back turned. But this one here. Oof. oof. Yeah. Nice work. Shooting with the... Round 10 underway. A B focus by the looks of things from EG. Four players making their way towards this side of the map. Smoked off for now. Molotov's being deployed. Losing vision towards short. And a bit of a spam coming in from Deaths. But no damage inflicted. The only feeling confident to push outside the smoke. Gains control. I don't think the door was needed out this time, so they don't have to be hyper aware of that position for now, at least. Navi G patrolling towards the monster tunnel there with Mopos, and he's got four players outside ready for some sort of execution. Door was blown off. We'll be coming. Hex has a piece of util lined up as well here. So the redeploy on the smoke, they're going to play ahead of it here. As soon as Mopos steps out, the flashes are coming. The body's already through. Davi needs both. Needed to make it three. Hex will get the trade. It's a three on three. Death's the only man residing on the side right now as the rotation comes in and he's going to get found. Neil and comes in through the back lines and nice surely one. Martinez and Alex just have to say. They were just waiting for their opportunity to strike there. Once the first smoke was fading, they knew it was like a two second window where they could be in front of the secondary smoke and there'd be no chance to react. Decent effort there coming in from Davi G. Gets a couple of kills but only had the FAMAS Chad. Probably only gets two of the M4 as well to be honest with you. 20 bullets. Uh, it was about all he was worth. Did his absolute best, but the trades were just too strong. Neelan with uh, a very important kill there towards the B-bomb side. We can get into a little bit more of the nitty and the gritty, I suppose, at this juncture of the game here. Conditioning has played a part here on this T-half for EG. In the early stages, the fact that Breeze was getting so much room, they yeah. missed around, then compounded with a couple of kills on gun rounds, means that they have to hedge players over towards this A bomb site, right? It's not as easy just to play one if you know that the bathroom's control is being taken as well as the long control almost simultaneously. Yeah, they, they've set the riders to not be able to do a 4-1. Yeah, they set the precedent very early, right? In the first pistol, that first gun round, Breeze is just helping himself to so much map territory. And uh, that's a massive issue. Martinez hasn't really been part of the B bomb site as they get ran over there.
Fortunately, though, however, Martinez does save the AWP. Alex with that AK-47 from a couple of rounds ago. Those are your A players, but they are 7-3 down, and it has to be the partial buy here as we enter round number 11. They've got three Deagles, five smokes, to be fair. Can make a round of this, but uh, it will take some high-flying antics from the sniper and the in-game leader. This is where they need this AWP to go out, find a kill, and then oh. hopefully the pistols in the scramble can uh, get a kill or two between them. Maybe get him down towards connector once again. They've been showing a lot of uh, aggression towards that position with the M4s. Might be nice to throw the sniper in there just for a change of pace. We'll have the advantage. But we have a small technical issue here. See if I can uh, get some insight. Not for BG, but as mentioned, if Martinez can find a bit of space at the start, an opening frag perhaps, could be enough. We'll have a look at to where he positioned himself. Actually opting towards the B-bomb site. Maybe uh, looking towards Monster, go for a deep pick. See him get set up here. Nothing too crazy to kick things off. Just holding back. And in terms of the setup, they do have four players towards B this time. Alex with the AK-47. He's trolling towards bathrooms. You might want to have that the other way around, considering the setup. But I guess he wants to be a bit more nimble. If Breeze has entered the bathrooms, he can challenge that and uh, patrol the area. But now it's Neelan probing on this side of the map. Well, it goes back to the conditioning we were just talking about, right? The fact that, okay, well, they have been prodding towards A. Then they went B. Oh, they got a fast one on us. Well, now yep. they're going to go back towards B. Well, Breeze Here he comes back again. up to the regular antics. They probed early. They established that uh, no warp was there to be a jarring force. And now they're crawling forward with this space. So a, a good round to start with, but no traction truly found just yet. They're in striking distance of the A bomb site, but they'll need to fill the dogs in the right place. So it's Alex, bear in mind, on his lonesome towards A. Def's considering a rotation here. They've seen nothing towards B at all. And all of the other players out. Same mindset. We're seeing Martinez rotate quickly as uh, they can feel the pressure being applied towards the A side. There's going to be a full execution here. Smoke's deployed. Molotov's coming through. A nice boost, actually, Chad. I think this could work out for them. This is a great call. Let's see if he gets caught here as he stands on up. Not considered ah. immediately, but fluffs his lines, and now it should be all over Red Rover. The spam through that little fence. Do they Very miss? lethal. The nades towards the site. That's a shot from Mopoz on the top of the bin here. The bomb's loose. 15 seconds on the clock, and Mopoz has found another. The X Factor finally Hello. coming alive. Depths is here too, and Martinez strikes. See you later. Sent pack and EG. Fumble. Wow. Yeah, they don't get a single kill there. They've given up four AK 47s. Look how things have changed. As we'll see that fallen AWP towards long, it's looking much better for Movistar Riders. What an amazing round. Great shots of the Desert Eagles there. The boost we thought would be the, the great difference maker, but apparently not. It's the Desert Eagle, Mopos, Devs, and Martinez all chiming in for a solid defense of the A-bomb side. Well read, and uh, EG maybe a little bit too slow on the execution there because everyone was ready and raring to go. Not out of this entire situation, I probably feel the worst for Paul Martinez, right? This would be his dream to play in the top tier Spanish roster and he comes into a house on fire, right? It's just the fact the he didn't win a single nature. practice, right? That's it's rough. Wild. It is wild. Well, Alex oh, doesn't get anything, but Martinez does. That was tidy. No was. smoke icon, but just over the top of that, it's a good trade back here, an important one to make onto Breeze, who's towards the top of the charts alongside of Automatic. So no B presence whatsoever here from EG, and Mopos is pushing off towards short as well, so he'll be aware of that as they can maintain two players towards the A bomb side. That's Depths and Martinez for now. Leland's feeling brave as he sneaks through the smoke successfully, heading towards long. X with the bomb on his back. Zerg watching for the flanks here. It's automatic, but pretty deadly with that AK. He gets ever closer towards the A bomb site, and Depths in a pretty compromised position. He's got Martinez with the orb watching towards long. He needs to be very careful of players wrapping around behind him. Flashbangs come over. Who will strike first here? It's a four on four. Martinez in position. Nice shot once again. Yeah, this is great timing. It comes with all that B info you highlighted earlier. They should be set up now. Death still in this loose piece position. Needs to be considered and won't be. Knife out in round the corner. Nice. They come and Death gets the double up. Massive work from him. Yeah. Solved this out for consecutive rounds now. The last player, Neil, needs to run, needs to hide. They're chasing him. They're looking for it. Mopos will find it. It's a two-round game now. It can still be the half win for the Riders. Martinez, you can see him there trying to get fired up. Well, that should be enough presence towards A to dissuade them for trying that again there. Perfectly working in tandem. We will see Martinez baiting in depths to perfection there. The fact he finds that kill suggests that he's the only player there as well. It's just a dream come true. You can see Cirque doesn't see this coming whatsoever. He's got the bomb on his back as well. Clean kill. Even more so on the second. Great whip around. And uh, there we have it. Seven to five, as Chad mentioned. We have got an eco 
I would say here for EG. Haven't really invested much at all. Automatic at the top end with a Tech 9 and armor. We've got Sirk of a Scout. He also has $3,700 residual cash though. So definitely an eco here. They don't really have much utility. I think just that one flashbang and that's been deployed towards Monster. Trying to find a quick pick. Dylan thinks better of it. Well, there was no response there off the back of that flash. Just staying in their formation on the B bomb site are the riders. And again, stretching the legs towards long. As a picnic blanket there for a reason. Everybody loves having a good time, but he's, oh, he's looking for a boost. Okay. So, uh, Sirk's going to want to mount on while he's standing. I, there we go. Went for the crouch option and has a little bit of a look over the top of the hedges that spotted him, I think. Prunes. The prunes? The trees, not pruned. <laughs> prunes, uh, prunes are dehydrated grapes? Uh, I believe that's raisins. It's a prune. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's his own thing. Okay, we'll look into the, yeah, uh, we'll get the origins of prunes. Yeah, the team on that one. As uh, Alex will be taking care of matters here in round number 13. Triple kill, make it a quad. Not bad at all. Well handled. As uh, it comes down to a one round game now, Chad. It's actually going swimmingly after a pretty disappointing start. They're right back on their feet here. Can still win the half, as you mentioned. It was the full eco. Nothing to write home about, but a uh, very nice sequence from Alex. Very confident. The smokes worked perfectly for him. As we'll see him mow them down. The unarmored opposition get absolutely destroyed there. Davidy to close things out. Send a nice full buy for EG going forward. Not a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination here on Overpass. Prunes are dried plums. Plums, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't either, I suppose. But I do now. Oh, hello. Everyone knows. We learned something today, everybody. I'm, I'm glad we got to this together. We like to deliver facts. I've made it 33 years without knowing the prunes are dried plums. Um, well, Lucky has nothing to do with Counter-Strike. Automatic on the AK again. He's shown some good form today. Can he hit another banger down? G gets absolutely blown off. Yeah. Whoa. That's a hell of a sequence from Automatic there. Will finally be shut down after finding two fantastic headshots there towards Shorts. Four on three. The response comes in from Deaths. And Martinez and Alex still towards A. So the solo hold towards the B bomb side. There's not really a correct solution for this one. Maybe hunting for a bit more information towards middle. Deaths will be playing a very passive game now at Graffiti. So he's well back. B bomb side is technically open and they're actually rotating in towards the A site. So this could be problematic for EG, especially with the presence of the sniper rifle of Martinez, who's looking very good on this CT half so far. $11,000 to his name as well. I know there's 40 seconds on the clock, but the amount of angles you have to clear in bathroom, you have to worry about this praying AWP that you know still is in the place. You're hedging, you're hoping. He's seen a lot. Oh, he's gone down. Oh, Four between so two targets. A great pick there from Hex as they run on in. They still have to deal with Alex on the site, who last round had a great showing on the M4, but not this time round. Definitely not. New addition to EG, showing his worth here, and Deaths will have to save. So up to eight rounds. They've won the half. Job done. They have won the half, and that's very unfortunate. Managing to recover things there after the double kill from Automatic. It felt possible with the A stack, but Martinez gets incredibly unlucky. Gets a bit too much information. Spots two barrels, getting ready to pick up the free kill. But unfortunately for him, they have no idea how lucky they were. They swing around at the correct time, and uh, it's hexed. Looking incredibly good there with the AK-47. Round 14 falls in their favor, and Deaths will have to save the AK. They've got plenty of money for the final round regardless, but saving the AK-47 on the CT side is always welcomed. Nothing he could do with this one. And uh, there we have it. Just one player remaining and uh, nothing too tactical required there from EG, to be honest with you. Automatic is hitting some stunners. Yeah, good shooting from him as that aggression came through. He dealt with it. Needs to be ready. And that's the thing. That aggression has been working out for Movistar Riders a few times now. Uh, they've been claiming the connector position and, of course, the short push. Doesn't work out for them that time. But last mentioned, they have got a nice strong purchase into round 15. We'll see what they can make of it. This round would be essential i would say after losing the half on the ct side it's not a good place to be sure the scoreline's competitive but uh not so much when you consider this is uh ct sided maps your opponent's pick we're switching over a half time definitely need this final round here Cirque towards short backed up by automatic here the deadly duo flashed over held at bay for now by the flames automatic hungry for a couple more here doesn't get it this time shut down by davy g Cirque on the hunt and 
He's got a mood awakening for him. There's Martinez. Lovely shot towards Shaw. We've already seen him lose the three on five, so hopefully not another hit. Nealon is quickly in their stead. Might have found a gap here. Hasn't been acknowledged, and that could All be right. the death of him. It's unfortunate that Spam doesn't hit, but the fact they didn't consider that at all is very dangerous. Yeah, they're always caught out of position, but uh, you're right. Doesn't cost them anything here. Just a little bit of HP. Five on two. Should be job done. But of course, no saving here. With a minute on the clock, they'll be going for it. Breeds of the bomb on his back and hexed in tow as they start to push towards the short position. They've got a flashbang. That's about it. Full map control for Alex and co. As they can confirm, it's almost certainly going to be a B finish. Just looking for any sort of mistakes. If they dare go for a boost again. Is it all they can do? Okay, well, here we go. He's peering out, has to hit some absolute scorches here, and just walks into the AWP of Mopoz. The one man standing is Hexed. 20 years of age, new on our screen, new to the scene. And uh, not seen for much longer, Mopoz will finish this. We got there eventually. We absolutely did. We'll see what Movistar Riders can make of it. Playing for pride, and indeed $5,000 per series as well. Uh, just going to be getting some reps in before their next tournament and proving they deserve to be here. Automatic on the hunt towards Connector, but... Uh, there is Mopos waiting for him, however. Not the cleanest duel so far. No one really takes any damage. They decide to fall back. It's actually Alex that opened things up with that P250. That's on Cirque. So, man advantage now for the Movistar Riders. Mopos will be dropped eventually. So, back to an even kill. And it's the first kill towards bathrooms. And they're striking towards the A site with deaths. Okay. Confirming B might be open. Yeah, well, there's going to be a car crash on B as they rotate back through. But all the action might already have finished and subsided over towards A. Hex has found one. Deaths over towards Ooh. the B side. A shot from Alex there is... This one's got very topsy-turvy. Breeze has grabbed another on low HP, 14 points of health, and not for much longer. It's a one-on-two for automatic now, and feels like EG need this one. He's up close. Yeah. Undetected, I believe. He has managed to sneak the angle here. We'll see whether he can get the first kill, but Alex is having none of their four frags for him in total. Excellent work there as we tie things up 8-8. Mobistar Riders off to a good start in the second half here. It all started with Alex's PD50 frag towards the bathrooms, and uh, he ends up getting four massive kills there. So a four spy from EG on the agenda. Desert Eagles, you would imagine, MP9s, and a scout, as we'll see a few smokes brought into the mix as well. Now, EG can be very deadly in these sort of rounds. Mobistar Riders need to be extremely careful. Fortunately, four players of our helmets on the CT side, which makes those MAC-10s very powerful indeed. We'll see what they can make of it here. Flashbang being set up towards middle for Davy G. It's Defs exploring towards short as they enter the default here, just claiming basic map control, prime real estate, whatever's available to them. And it all starts here at the playground position for Martinez, who will be defending the long area. He has got three CTs on the other side, though, hiding behind the rocks. He needs to be very careful. He needs a flashbang or maybe a run boost to gain full control there. We'll see because he's got Cirque waiting with the scout on the other side. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be peering around in his lonesome. So things better of it for now. Just want to make a quick note here for everybody just to look at the, the minutiae of, of Counter-Strike. Zerk has a scout, but still has 700 bucks and Kevlar. Exactly. Neil, in the in-game leader, dropped him that scout, which is trying to facilitate their AWP when they make it into the first gun round. So it's just those details. Is The biggest detail right now is the fact that Breeze has gone undetected. The bomb coming back is down Hello. now. That is quite the shot from Breeze. What? Well, now the alarm bells are going off. Automatic of a chance as he converts a beautiful one there. Martinez dropped towards a party position. This is no fun at all as Davy G rotating into the madness. Automatic makes light work of them here. Beautiful play from Evil Geniuses and Mopos. We left with just 27 points of health. Even if he get that kill, it's, it's all for naught. And... Uh, they throw it away, unfortunately. It doesn't work out for them. As soon as that first kill comes in, they have to start retreating, backtracking. As the bomb goes down, Chad, that's, that's the, the key factor, right? Yeah, the fact that the bomb is isolated. Everybody else was all congregated. You can see their X is dotted across the map here on the radar, top left of the screen. That is a very, very bad round to lose for the Riders. It's more the context on the way out with how many players survived, how many AKs they have just given over. Two yep. AKs equipped now at Galil. So uh, cash for days off this fourth button. That is a tidy shot from Breeze there. Automatic takes his time. He yeah. breathes. You got to make sure you're breathing. You don't want to fluff the lines on kills like that. So great stuff here from EG. Uh, they've won a three on five in this game so far. And now this fourth spy in the second round of the second half. That is tidy. X is enjoying himself as uh, we get into another four spy situation. Mopo's actually not joining them. He's got $1,300 left, Chad. So not being the sniper, 
He's the one saving a bit of cash now. Maybe for Martinez. Just buy an AK next round or something crazy. True. Mopos gets he up. Does, he does uh, go against the grain, doesn't he? What an org yesterday with no armor. Right, that was mad. <laughs> I've never seen that before in all of my years. Uh, an org, no armor setup. But uh, that's more like it. Deaths will be finding Breeze, but uh, not for long. Four and four once again. Unable to recover the rifle. Automatic in a prime spot. It's made light work of the oncoming assault towards the A bomb side. We'll see what he can do with it. Spots one. This should be handled. I'm not too worried whatsoever. I know we've had some, some Deagle moments here, but this doesn't feel like it has too much potency behind it with the low HP of three players right now for the Riders. I, I don't see the lines getting fluffed too badly. Well, you set us up perfectly there, Chad, for a disaster. I like you. I see what you're up to. Doesn't matter. We won't end up on live stream fails with all the drama that's going on on there at the moment. I know. It's stacked, unfortunately. We don't even get a look in. There's no contest that we can have. Nothing we could possibly do or say. But uh, <laughs> let's see, sir. You had a few on the plate. You've only eaten half the meal. Maybe he's raising a household where he doesn't have to finish everything on that plate. As, uh, you do need to go down here. Bobby, you, you, you cannot be surviving with some digs. You need the loss bonus. So... Loudly trundling towards Hex, he will give you a seven-second pause. Yeah, that's annoying, because they can't really do anything with that now. They're already low. They know they'll get mown down there with the MP9. He's let them know, giving them the warning shot. Perfect little crossfire here. Neelan sets up automatic for potentially three kills. There's the first two. And uh, a nice tidy finish there as Evil Geniuses find double digits. And uh, Mobisel with the Force Spy presumably give over the 11th as well. And we have got Mopos, though, as mentioned. 3,200. It would be like Galil. Do it. Helmet. Like, I don't... Or just AK, I, no I, armor. I don't think it's worth it, I'll be honest. Do it. I don't think that's the investment they should be making. You can get a Deagle, sure. Opts for the full eco. Don't mind it too much. There we go. Did Is you, anyone invested at all? Did you know that uh, Europe's never won the Super Bowl? Uh, I assumed as much, yeah. That makes, that does make sense. Uh, they're not a... A franchised American sports team. That's what people are getting up to in chat. They're saying uh, they've, they've never won the Super Bowl. Yeah, I guess it's a good point. Uh, well, I can't argue with facts. No printer. No printer. I see what you did there. Keeping up with the kids, Henry. You know me. Trying to Have you had to send the young. facts in the last decade? Has it happened? In the last decade. Uh, there's a crazy sort of times where you're applying for visas and stuff. They can only take a fax for some reason. I think I've done it I'm once. sure I think I must have had to yeah. send something from a old outdated hotel somewhere in exactly it's always at a hotel yep. and that's the only place you can really find them but uh either way we're on the lookout for more star riders here 11 8 down their opponent's map pick nothing to play for unfortunately in this group uh i guess the five thousand dollars reward for winning a series and indeed pride getting reps in for future tournaments getting comfortable with martinez in the within the ranks as we'll see a molotov deployed towards the front door of cirque there so doesn't even want to stick around and challenge it. He's happy just to fall back here. Breeze will take the advantageous angle elsewhere. With the AK as well, he's looking confident, but the door might swing open as soon as he finds that kill. He's very low now. What's the next maneuver? Just tucks himself in. It might be overstaying his welcome here or pushing the issue. No one's there in T-Spawn. That's where he's going. He's going to take the whole house. Squad is law right now. To come back and take it off a of breeze if you want to evacuate him from the building. But Martinez has destroyed Cirque. That was towards long. You're right, that was in the flower beds. So, uh, must have prunes. been quite the shot. You don't see that. Bed of prunes. The bed of prunes. As, uh, Tim. Tim, the tool man, Taylor. <laughs> References from our home, childhood here. Here, Breeze. Great. Four HP and a dream as he's get one and done. It's more than enough. It's just poor much uneasy. Yeah. Uneasy versus Breezy. It's a, it's a compelling prospect, but we'll see what he can make of it. That was a nice note scope, to be fair. I would say Breeze was maybe even entitled to two more frags on the low HP. Did very well to get towards T-Spawn. And uh, unfortunately for Martinez, I doubt they'll offer him much at all. He's got the bomb in his back, sure, but even if he knifed out towards the bomb site, he would struggle to get it down. 20 seconds on the clock. It's going to be residing in the playground here. Sitting on the, the seesaw on his lonesome. Yeah, it doesn't really function with one person to see. So the Already. slide, you can go up and down. Yeah. The swings, we know that you can get going on your own. You don't necessarily need a push. Have a swing. It's been a while since I've swung. I, I try and swing or get a, get involved in that sort of thing. I, at least once every couple of months, you know. You like to swing once every couple of months. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a nice freeing feeling. It's liberating, yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, four more rounds for the evil geniuses here. There's been a lot of just Here it is. Oh, okay. So they boosted. No. 
No. Wow. No. Straight up wall bang. No. Towards the, the bed of prunes. I am very glad we caught that one. That is uh, filthy business. That was from the fountain. Hasn't been bad by any stretch, but uh, not hyper carry mode. When in doubt, guess. rush B. Yeah, and send the AWP up short, it seems. This gets stuck in. I like it. It's confident. It's aggressive. It doesn't work at all, but uh, decent effort. Had the qualities. Yeah. Oh, it definitely had the qualities <laughs> that we were highlighting there. We'll see whether they can do anything with the salvaged sniper rifle in the hands of Alex for now. He has got Kevlar released. Damage you with a helmet. But only with a flashbang and a single smoke at this point, taking a little bit of damage there for the wooden boards. As we pump the brakes. Well, boss, we have a chance that he converts. That's a lovely one with the Desert Eagle. Now, they need to try and recover that rifle if possible. Cirque's aware of it. Drops the incendiary, calling for a rotation potentially. And uh, Neelan will provide it. Here he comes. Just want to patrol that rifle. Make sure it doesn't go into enemy hands. Lots of movement here across the map. And Cirque will spot one up close and personal towards that little headshot flower pot. His windows very deceiving. You want to shoot through them, you can see through them. Well, uh, it's Optimus Prime bulletproof as the bomb comes eyes towards D divider you've got davy jeet towards long you've got alex as well at the front of the bathroom so they can initiate off of this smoke and flash it's a great kill for okay. davy they're in yeah this is problematic now with sir being the last line of defense he has got rotations coming through but oh, pistols dear. surrounding him it's up the breeze he heard the bomb go down towards oh, the truck dear. and there's a fadeaway shot from alex two on one now hexed with it all to play for suggesting he's going towards bank with the footsteps but We'll go into stealth mode here, and this is the shot. If he can find that kill quickly, there's a real good chance he can convert this. Running out of bullets now, as he'll be challenged left and right. Can't quite find the headshot, I dare say. Alex will find him now, and uh, there we have it. Nice work there from Movistar Riders. Entered with not very much whatsoever. You can see they're still fired up. They're here for this one. But this is the thing. This right now for Martinez is the Super Bowl. For yeah. the rest of them, they were all just over there at Cologne on the stage with the massive right. crowd. They were loving it. And then it's all been ripped away. So you can see the contrast here. And it is going to take some time for them to get back on track in that regard. But we're not seeing necessarily bad Counter-Strike out of them. Sometimes some of the plays aren't working. So it's some good shots hit from EG. We're back in winning ways. But bottom of the barrel right now. Hex not happy with that. Yeah. He, frustrated with himself. He had a couple of opportunities to make that a one versus one at least. Doesn't really do any damage. Some whiff shots. It was a difficult situation for sure. But uh, understandably is a bit disappointed with the outcome. Nice healthy buy, though, for EG. Money is running very thin, though, as... Uh, what a spam the wooden boards here. The nade blows out the door at the start of the round. You can hear Death's very aware of all this. So, just the final play. The bomb currently resides in the back of Martinez as they head from T-Spawn over towards Monster. Davy G getting decent map control elsewhere. Prime real estate garnered as uh, he heads towards the bathrooms. That's got Mopos in tow as well. So it's quite a defensive setup here from Cirque and Automatic as they start to show their hand towards B, just peeking the B bomb site. Great flashbang there. Smoke goes down. That guarantees the man advantage. No trade, but it's elsewhere. Davy G goes down. He was patrolling towards middle, if you remember. Okay, well, the bomb's starting to go back towards the A site now at Fountain. You've got a bit of space taken by Mopoz. Automatic can stall this out on his lonesome here. If he gets the kill of Martinez, who has Alex not too far behind now, the bomb will be loose. Does Mopoz crawl down or does he continue long? Looks like he'll be continuing long and Alex liked to overlook this. Sound cue made. There's the first for Automatic. That's the bomb dropped. Zerg's found that one from the top of site. And now between a rock and a hard place is Mopoz. Has to go forward, can't go back. Time is the biggest issue here. And maybe it might have to be a save. Death has given up his spot. The leg spotted here for Mopoz. And one is that's all he's going to get. A, a big round from Cirque. Three kills for him. Yeah. How do you miss that secondary follow up? Maybe there's a chance they can access the A bomb site, but not meant to be. No time remaining. And it will be Death recovering the sniper rifle. I don't think it'll be found. <gasps> no, he will oh. be. There's no time to get the kill. So they'll hold on to the sniper rifle for now. 13 to 9 in favor of EG overall on their map pick. They're on the CT side. I would say they're in cruise control right now. Uh, did lose to a partial buy slash eco, but uh, they qualify to the RMRs. As uh, we see round number 23 underway. Playing for pride. Playing for the future. Movistar Riders enter with just pistols and the safe sniper here. Automatic. 
Baited in towards the party position. The Orpo Serg providing that covering fire. And he's looking for a little bit of an investigation there. Starts receiving some bullets and getting a bit awkward now as they are a bit segregated. We've got automatic in towards the connector. Everything under control for now as they choose long as their avenue of assault here. Three players, including the bomb. Maybe even four with Mopos coming up behind them. And this is the first frag available. Neelan gets it quite comfortably. And he can get out now, Neelan. Good job of the in-game leader. Found the opening kill. And automatic, you're hanging yourself out Sorry. here. You're walking the wooden plank as Mopos dispatched of. They will task one individual of Davy G to go and see if he can find the kill on automatic. But automatic is looking great. 22 kills for him now. The final two to find the AWP. Noted. And removed. Yes, this map is looking great now. New Cup next, Henry. New Cup next. Uh, unfortunately for the Movistar Riders, though, they'll be selling the T-side shot. That is a problem, I would say. Sure. Not the best prospect for them, but if they can win a pistol, which they have been doing, you never know. We like pistols. We do. We have to talk about them a lot. Enjoy the conversions, the pistols, the opening kills, the gun rounds. Dual elites. We love it. All of it. From top to bottom. We hope you do too at home. Now, if you want to get involved in the conversation, use the hashtag ESL Pro League at Henry G CSGO at Sponge SPUNJ. Let us know where you're up to. It right now is a Saturday. We'll be joining you for this first series and the follow-up series of Liquid taking on Eternal Fire up next. That'll be coming to you at 4 p.m. CEST. And then later in the day, Moses and Sedicus to bring you the Furia versus Cloud9 game. Well, well, well. What have you got, Movistar Riders? Running out of time and space now. 14 to 9. Five on four as Mopos gets dealt with by Neelan once again, who's been a very handy player for EG. We were impressed with that first showing as his positional play towards Banana. If you remember, Chad, his CT presence there was very yes. good. Yep. And uh, now just seems to be more than confident. And those sort of anchor positions holding towards Connector. He hasn't rotated, hasn't fell back, holding on to it as uh, he'll be challenged once again. The timing couldn't be better. Does he fancy another one? Certainly an option. Players all around and need to choose one or the other here. Oh. Another great flash. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for him. Alex will respond and give them a fighting chance. Had to do something, though. He was going to die in the back lines course, there. Yeah. So, so great little move from Neelan. Yeah, has enough time to wait for the team to come through and uh, back him up. Now, Breeze, he's just cleared out the short area, at least somewhat. It's not completely clear, but more than enough space for them to be on high alert over towards A right now. 40 seconds remain. One smoke available for the Spaniards. Alex, the in-game leader, he gets ever closer towards the A-bomb site. He's got Automatic and Cirque to deal with. They've both been pretty on point this map, I have to say. Automatic, especially 23 kills. Pixel perfect precision. Time and time again, they'll throw that one smoke they have in towards CT spawn. Flashes to come over and uh, at least baited out a shot of the AWP. There is a chance here. Yeah. Even more so now. Great shot from Defs. Back to a three on three in the bomb. Could be planted, no problem. 10 seconds. And uh, I say Alex might have this kill, no problem as well. Yeah, so not ready for this play at all. It needs to be traded by Breeze. It's a two on two now. Hexed and Breeze against Martinez and Death. Now Death stuck over towards the side. He needs the oversight of Martinez. Sound cues from Death are going to be very important to help this sniper isolate these fights on the jiggle. Will be offered up one. It's Hex coming out towards the truck, but cannot convert. And now it go. is the AWP. The bomb has been smoked off. That is going to be the biggest issue, Martinez. Needs to dip around, see if he can find this fight. They're defusing right in front of the nose, and it's Breeze with the one-way. Great shot from him. Orp will be retrieved, and 15 on the board now for EG as they look to pick their third consecutive... And uh, a nice 2v1 there. There was no chance Martinez was going to win that, unfortunately, for him with the sniper rifle. As soon as that smoke goes down, yeah, your chances are very limited. If he had the AK, maybe he could duck and weave with the spams, but it uh, doesn't pan out for him, unfortunately. It trades, and... Uh... Very good finish there for Breezy. I want to leave this with the desk to potentially have a, have a conversation uh, about how easy you're looking going into that America's RMR, which will be taking place in about two weeks' time. From right. Now, like a week and a half. Now, okay. Eternal Fire, they beat them, and they're going to be in the European RMR. Uh, Movistar Riders are a team who are playing okay Counter-Strike. It's not, it's not fantastic, but another name that maybe with a bit more practice could have been in that EU RMR as well. Wow. Yeah, Neilan's just going to finish it off, isn't he? Just uh, aim map it. Another, another bullets. Dig. Get the USB out, him as well. <laughs> yeah, he's been great. These uh, opening gambits have been going in their favor time and time again. That's another five versus three, or five and two and a half, as Mopos is down to just 11 points of health. Automatic tucking himself in towards Connector. I, I dare say we might be done here, Chad. It's a very, very comprehensive victory. We'll see whether they can do anything.
to close things out here. That right there is the factor. The, the, this is going to be a 16-9, or, or maybe they lose this round, but it's still going to be a, a pretty decent victory for Egypt with a couple of foot faults. So we're looking for improvement. What are they adding to? What's looking good? Are the individuals starting to be consistent? Are they looking more confident? As uh, they're going to stall this one out. Smoke to divide. Molly to conquer. Max, let's grab one automatic on the rampage still, and it's just the one man standing. Old mop on see it. 11 HP and a dream. 30 seconds to try and make this one work. The nade might find it for him. Tickle him just yet, and there it is. Automatic with the last.